Hi guys, welcome back for another Unraid video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to mount a Google Drive folder using the Unassigned Devices plugin. If that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around and let's get started. Alright, so to get started we need to make sure that we first have a few things set up. And obviously the first is going to be Google Drive's backup and sync application. So let's do a quick search for Google Drive download. There it is. And for this demonstration we're just going to be using it for individuals. Hit download and agree and download. Now I already have this installed on my machine and I'm not going to go through this download process. It's pretty straightforward. Once you get that downloaded, be sure to sign in. And from there, we'll continue on our Unraid screen. The next thing we need to make sure that we have is the Unassigned Devices plugin. By now, most of us probably already have that, but if not, head over to Community Applications, do a quick search for Unassigned Devices. Go ahead and get that installed and then come back to our main screen and right here you should see it now available and what we're going to be doing is adding a remote SMB NFS share and we need to make sure first that Google Drive is available on our network to add to unassigned devices so let's take a quick look at that if you're using Mac OS go ahead and open up your system preferences then let's go to sharing, file sharing, and under shared folders, we want to add our Google Drive. Now I already have mine in the sidebar here, but if yours is not there, click on your username, and then you should see Google Drive available there. So I'm going to click that, add. There we have it, you can set permissions there. In my case, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Exit out of that. And if you're on Windows, open up File Explorer and you should see Google Drive over here on the left. Once you have it installed, we're gonna right click that. Go to Properties, Sharing, then we want to hit share right here. Now you're, you can add more users here if you like. When you do that, make sure the permission level is set accordingly. Hit share. And then you'll see your folder is shared. Hit done there, close out of that. And now let's go back to our Unraid screen. Okay, now that we're back on our main Unraid screen, Let's go ahead and hit Add Remote SMB Share. Click the Windows icon for the SMB protocol. And I'm going to do a search for servers. And this one right here is my main iMac. So I'm going to add this one first and then show you what it's like on Windows. We're going to hit Next. Type your username. password. In my case, I'm just going to leave domain the way it is. Then you can do load shares. Now hit the drop down menu and right there you'll see Google Drive. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And we can see it added right there. So let's mount that. Now one important thing to note, Google Drives, especially if you have the free version, only come with 15 gigs. Now the unassigned device is actually using on the right side over here the disk from the computer to measure the size and free space. So that's important to keep in mind. You can put in your Google Drive on the application, you can put more than 15 gigs there, but 15 gigs is all that will stay in the cloud. So this can be a little deceptive if you're not aware of those limitations. 
So I've got a 500 gig hard drive here, and this does not accu accurately reflect the space in the Google Drive. So just keep that in mind. But now, we should have everything ready to go in there. Let's run this through for Windows real quick. Next. And here's my Windows machine. Next again, username. Password. Domain, leave that the same. Load shares. Now, Windows is a little bit different. Um, in this case, you're not gonna see the actual drop-down level where it says Google Drive. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mount my user share. Hit done. Once we mount that, we'll be able to see that inside of it. So let's go through there, into the home folder, and right here, we can see where Google Drive is. So even though this isn't the top folder level that's mounted on our main dashboard, we'll still be able to access it anytime by just dropping down through the folder, folder tree. Now the next thing I want to show you is a really useful terminal command called rsync. A lot of you may already know or are aware of rsync but it's a really fast and extraordinarily versatile file copying tool. It can copy locally, and go to or from another host over a remote shell, or to and from a remote rsync daemon. It has a huge number of options that control all different aspects of its behavior, and it permits a very flexible specification of the set files to be copied. Now I'm not going to dive too far into the weeds on rsync. I'll leave a link in the description below that shows a lot of different useful commands. But today I'm going to show you the basic syntax of that it, of that command which starts with typing rsync, then you'll have the options immediately following. Then there'll you'll specify the source path and the destination path. And an example would be typing rsync a for archive, v for verbose, z for compress, h for human readable numbers, and then the source slash root slash rpm pkgs, and then the destination would be slash tmp slash backups. So let's take a quick example. I'm going to put together a little rsync script that you can use in conjunction with Google Drive if you have some files that you might like to sync on a certain schedule. So let's take a look and see how that goes. Okay, so now that we're back on our main Unraid tab, let's go ahead and open up a terminal window. And the first thing we're going to type is rsync space hyphen a for archive, V for verbose, and H for human readable. And this is a really good combination of options for rsync that I find useful. It's clean, it's simple, and the, the last thing that I want to add on to it for this first time is the letter N for a dry or trial run. And if you've got a, a, a first time, if you're new to this, Using the, the dry run option is a great way to see how the transfer is going to go. You'll get an output and you can double check that everything there is the way it should be, the way it should look. And when you get ready to run the final, all you have to do is go back and delete that end. So let's take a look at doing a dry, a dry run. Now we need to get our source. In my case, I've already copy and pasted the source that I want to use. And this is the location for the user scripts on the server. And I want to copy those or archive them and back them up to my Google Drive folder. So now I need to get the path for the folder that I want to use in Google Drive. So let's go back to our dashboard. And right down here we can see where I added in our remote share for Google Drive. So let's click that. And I can see right here in my Unraid folder, I want to open that. 
and I've got my scripts backups folder that I already made. I just did that in my Mac Finder. So let's open that. And then right here we can see our path. So let's just highlight this. We'll copy that. Go back to our main tab. Open our terminal back up. And then paste our path in right here. Now one thing to remember is if you have any spaces in any of your file paths, you want to make sure and, and put those in quotes. Otherwise it can cause problems. What I'm talking about is right here between Google and Drive. If I did not put that in quotes, it would really mess up the syntax of the rsync command. So now that everything looks good to go, this is going to be a dry run. Let's hit enter and see what happens. Sending the list, everything looks good. Total size 11.7 kilobytes, speed up, dry run. You can see where it has dry run labeled right here. So now I wanna run this again. I'm just gonna hit the up arrow on my keyboard and I'm gonna go back and delete the dry run option. Let's take that in out and hit enter. Here we go. There we go. You can see that those numbers match up. The total size 11.73K. The dry run showed 11.73K. And everything looks good. And you can see here in the finder window where all the new files and folders are popping up on the Google Drive and being synced with the cloud. Now if I want to turn that into a script that I can set on a schedule, just go up here to your settings and then you want to, if you don't already have it installed, install the user scripts, but I think most of us probably have that plugin. So let's open up our user scripts plugin, do add new script, and I'm going to call this script to G drive. Hit OK. And on the little cog icon, you can just hover over that and then edit script. And on the, the line below the shebang line, I'm gonna just copy and paste in the script that we just entered into the terminal a moment ago. And remember, if you have the in on there, you wanna take that out. Make sure you've got your quotes if needed. And just to give this a little extra flair, we can add an echo line. All done. We can hit save changes. And now we can manually run that script anytime we want to, or we can set it on a schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and it doesn't matter when for me, I'm just gonna set that on a weekly schedule. Actually, I'm gonna set that on a daily schedule. And just for a practice run, I'm gonna hit run script. And there it goes, right there. All done. And be sure if, when you set that on the interval that you want, as I just missed, <laughs> go down here and hit apply. And that's it. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you're new to R-Sync, I hope you take a little bit of time, go through the options. It's a highly, highly useful command. Uh, I use it almost on a daily basis across my servers and platforms for different backups and syncs. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a wonderful day.